Thank you, Bob. Trey, how do you describe the emotions right now? Yeah, it's ridiculous. You know, we got to take care of business. I had to look over my shoulder. In the sixth inning, your second career Grand Slam, you knew the significance of this game. How how did it feel for you to contribute in that way and come through in such a big moment for your ball club? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, you know, like you said, we know what's Thanks, guys. All right. I'm joined now by Kurt Suzuki. Kurt, when did you know this ball club was special? Um, you know, we, we knew it all. You know, obviously we started the season off slow, but uh, we believed in the talent with ourselves. We got too many good players in this room. We got too many good coaches in this room. Um, we knew that uh, if we just stay within ourselves and not panic, we come back and win. <laughs> Now Alex with Max. How do you put into words what it's like to celebrate with your teammates tonight as you punched your ticket to October? Just have fun, man. We got 25 guys here that really, we really gel together. This is such a good tight clubhouse. And it's going to take everybody to come together and win in the postseason. I, I love going to battle with these guys. And, man, it's going to be a heck of a ride for us. The way the season started. <laughs> How did it taste? Oh, I love Bud Light. Or Bud Light is Bud Heavy. <laughs> I love Bud Heavy. Max, the way the season started, you guys never lost faith in this ball club. Why? What was it specifically about this group? Because we're good. We're really good. We can play with everybody in this league. I know there are good teams in this league, but we're really good. And we got what it takes to be able to compete with everybody. So we're going to take all 25 of us to get into the postseason and uh, see what we got. What was tonight like for you all, knowing that the stars needed to align, but it did, and now here you are celebrating? Yeah, it was one of those things like, wait a second, if we win, they lose, like we're in. like So we're going to party tonight. So sure, sure enough, hey, it worked out, and we're partying. All right, Max, while you're partying, can you show us your goggles? Yeah, a little boom brown. I don't miss a beat. <laughs> Did you get them custom made or? Yeah, yeah, this is my wife. My wife does it all. She knows She knows what it's about, so she always finds them. Max, thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Patrick, how do you put into words, because this is why you came to the Nationals to play for the postseason. How do you put it into words that you punched your ticket to October? Yeah, it's uh, just a, it's been a long ride to get to this point throughout the season. Uh, guys have been working hard. It's been uh, a fun group to be a part of, and all the hard work, everything paid off for, for today, and uh, we just want to keep it going. We want to do this uh, a lot more times. When did you know this ball club could turn things around after May 24? Yeah, I mean, when you, when you have uh, a group of players, the rotation that was here with Max and Strott, with those guys, and then... things have happened and uh, you really just have to focus on one game at a time uh, we we're able to clean some things up you know as a ball club got some great guys coming in here and uh, really uh, you know tighten the culture and uh, you know we've had a lot of fun on this ride and we're going to continue to do that you use the word culture what was it i guess what was the culture that davy built here to have a moment an opportunity to bring you guys to october well, I think it's. I, I think when you go in the end of the season with expectations, um, like we always have, and then to kind of have that disappointment from the start of the season, uh, it's easy to kind of, you know, get a little reality check and uh, say, hey, like, you know, we're better than this. Uh, but we also have to stick together and uh, pull for each other and uh, do everything we can to help one another. And I think that was that was the biggest part. You know, you get guys in here, um, you know, like Gabby, you know, Gerardo Parra. I mean, these guys are crazy. Like, you know, they got they have me dancing after wins. So 
You know, that's the last thing I'd probably be doing. But, uh, you know, I love these guys, and uh, I'd do anything for them, and we're going to keep going. Steven, we should walk over this way because they're all calling for you to dance. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, the baby shark. Yeah, it's contagious. Yeah. Enjoy it. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Gerardo, you told me on July 4th you promised this team would make the postseason. What's the feeling like right now? You have to believe it. I say every time, you have to believe it. When you have a people like we have it right now, everything is positive. So we're in, we're in. And we have a more chance to come in step to step. So right now, we enjoy it. Right now, we're happy. Thank you, all the fans, because you guys... All right, I'm joined now by Sean Doolittle. Sean, after game one, you talked with us at the podium, and it had to be that the stars all aligned. Yeah. And you punch your ticket. Now, what's the feeling like for you? This is so awesome. Um, this group is a really special group, so this uh, this means an awful lot uh, to be able to, to share an experience like this with these guys uh, after everything that we've been through. Um, and for it to kind of come together the way that it did today, um, we couldn't have asked, we couldn't have scripted it any better. This team faced so much adversity. When did you know that you had just such a resilient, a special group to overcome what you all did? Pretty early on, I think we, we knew we had a special group, and that's why April and May were so frustrating, because we felt like we were we were a better team than we were showing. Um, we righted the ship there pretty quick, and uh, by the first week of June, we were off and running. And um, there's, such, there's so many special guys in this room, guys like veteran guys that know how precious a chance at the postseason is, like, uh, like Howie Kendrick and, and Brian Dozier, um, Para and... And, and Cabrera, who are probably deserving of, of being starters on most teams, but they really embraced that role, like Zim and, and Ryan Adams, guys who have played such big roles on teams in the past, um, putting their ego aside and doing what was best for the team to give us the best chance to be doing something like this at the end of the season. Who's been celebrating the most so far? <laughs> Maybe Huddy, he play, but he deserves it. Um, I'm really glad he showed up. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, there's a dance party going on over there. Everybody's dressed the same. I can't tell who's who, though. Enjoy this, Sean. Thanks so much for your time, guys. Well, all right. <laughs> hey, you're Go ahead. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. No secrets. What is this like right now, celebrating with all your guys? Oh, this is amazing. I didn't get a chance to experience this as a player, and I feel like I'm making my Major League debut again, just like making my Major League debut as a coach. It's a special group of individuals. It's a family, and it's just a tremendous feeling that it's really no words can really describe it. When we talked to you earlier in this season, when you became the pitching coach for the Nationals, you talked about this was a dream come true, and now here you are moment can you put the emotions into words well I'll tell you what the dream's not over I haven't woken up yet there's a world series ring ahead of us so then you guys ask me that question and I'll wake up from that dream when you think about now with the wild card game 12 wins world series what can you even picture the way this team started why did you think that they would have an opportunity to now Simple, simple answer. Mike Rizzo brought in individuals that are team-oriented guys. And this family that he established is second to none. These guys love each other, they respect each other, and they have each other's backs all the time. The work that Henry Blanco has done in the bullpen, the preparation, seriously, I cannot say enough about all of these guys and how close they are and the work that goes on behind the scenes. Paul, thank you so much. Enjoy this tonight. <laughs> okay, Alex, you and Matt, take it away. Thanks, guys. Matt, well, this team started the season 19 and 31, and what a turnaround for this group. How do you put in the emotions now to punch your ticket to October? I really can't put it into words right now. You know, we're just so happy for these guys uh, in this clubhouse. And uh, we got a special group here. And um, we're happy to get in, but we're not done yet. You know, we got a lot of business to take care of, and we're excited to get it rolling. When
when did you know this group was special? I think from the minute in spring training, you know, we, we never give up. Uh, the start of the season wasn't the way we wanted it to go, and uh, we, just, we pulled together and we just kept going. So what's it like celebrating tonight? It's been too damn long uh, for me not popping champagne, so it's I'm happy to be back celebrating, especially with these group of guys. Yeah! It's unbelievable. I mean, five years ago, I got to experience this. To be able to come in here with this group of guys, it's undeniable one of the best moments, obviously, being able to take us in. No goggles on because you want to remember the burn. You want to feel the burn. You want to soak it in because you don't know when it's going to happen again. So these guys are unbelievable, as you've seen it all year. It's awesome. What was tonight like for you guys? Because you knew it could happen if all the stars aligned. How do you put into words what it was just like as things were playing out? It's meant to be. I mean, you know, obviously, um, how the season's unraveled all year long, it's meant to be. You know, uh, obviously just getting in. We're looking forward to the opportunity of getting in, and these guys are amazing. Aaron, how special is this for you to be part of this? It's obviously very special. Uh, anytime you get in the playoffs, for me, just being back in the big leagues and just relishing this moment, it's obviously, uh, you know, it, it's it's amazing uh, being able to have this comeback story, being able to. You know. One of our definitions of grinder is Adam Eaton. Take it away. Thanks, guys. All right, Adam, you you know the story very well. This team started in 19 and 31, and now to be here celebrating with these group, this group of guys, how do you put it into words? Well, you don't. I mean, it's tough too. Thank you. It's it's. Uh, I mean, we've talked about it all year. Uh, you know, the veteran leadership in this clubhouse. N not to you know pack it in. You know, in May. You know, keep it in close house. You know, there's a lot of a lot of noise on the outside, but just to stay focused. And uh, like I said, hats off to our leadership. You know, Max and Strauss, and um, you know, the go list goes on and on. But just to steady the course. Again, we talk about one pitch at a time. So many times, every time I talk to you, we talk about one pitch at a time. Even up to that last inning, you know, to clinch, it's one pitch at a time with Huddy. So uh, we got to keep up with that and continue to go. This is just the beginning. We all believe that. This is a party. We always enjoy having parties, but it doesn't matter. We, we want to have the, the end party. So, um, you know, that's our focus, and that's what we want to do. Adam, you bring the energy day in, day out. How was your heart rate in this game tonight? With, with Huddy on the mound, very, very good. So uh, a lot lower than you thought. But you wouldn't know by me jumping in the outfield for some odd reason. I don't know. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Cheers. Um, but uh, I don't know. Just like I said, the, the, the whole year and the way things have gone, you know, nothing surprises you. you got to continue to battle, and, and this team has done that. And, like, I think what's going to really set us up for the playoffs, you know, to have our struggles and to continue to do what we've done is uh, special. So, um, you know, we got our game, and uh, now we got to win it. You guys keep saying that this is such a special group. What is it about this group in comparison to other all clubs you've been a part of that makes it such a tight-knit group? Well, I think it's such a cool wrinkle between veteran leadership. I mean, we got guys that have 15 years on this team, 12 years on this team, 13 years on this team, and then you got guys that have a year, you know, a 20-year-old, 22-year-old. He's, he's still eating grape juice right now. Uh, you don't get that in too many big league clubhouses, so to have the wrinkle between between the young guns to keep us young and the veterans to keep us steady, uh, it's special. Adam, thank you so much. Enjoy this. Yeah. yeah. It seems like you're enjoying it as well. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. <laughs> Behind you, grab Riz. Hey, we're helping any way we can. Alex, you and Mike, take it away. It's all yours. You can't hear it. Mike, the season started 19 and 31, and then what a turnaround for your group, this ball club. How proud are you of these guys? Extremely proud of the of the, the work that Davey and his staff did was unbelievable, and the players bought in. And they're you know it's a, it's a good group of guys, and it's a talented group. We knew we were a, a playoff caliber team, and uh, we weren't playing like. It for a, a, a number of reasons, but everyone hung together. Nobody finger pointed. No anonymous quotes. Nothing. And it was uh, 
it was, uh, you know, culminates in in, uh, in having these kind of uh, these kind of celebrations, and this is, you know, nowhere near what we want to accomplish this year. But it's a good start. It is something that's big, so it's something to celebrate, and uh, and we're we're looking to do a couple of these this year. One of the players that ignited so much for this ball club was Gerardo Parra. You brought him here to DC. In what ways did he impact the culture, change maybe the mentality of some of the group? Well, first of all, he's a pretty good player, and he got that big hit against the Dodgers today. We got him, and that kind of set us off on a, on a little on a little roll. And uh, you know, he's got an infectious personality. This guy has done it at the biggest stages in the game, and uh, you know, he's won Gold Glove, so he, he was instrumental in in a, our defensive outfield improvement. And uh, he just took those young players and took them under his wing. And you know, he's a you know he's he's a great example for the, for young players and how to carry yourself, how to be a big leaguer, and, and uh, how to treat people. Mike, thank you so much. Congratulations. Enjoy this. We like the goggles. Yeah.